Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a demo slash review. It's not going to be a first impression, but it's going to be a review on this Maybelline Superstay foundation. Um, this isn't a new foundation, however it is reformulated, but I didn't have the old one, so technically it's new to me. So it's going to be a re review on this. It's also going to be a review on the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. And it is going to be a review and demo on the Maybelline Face Studio Beauty Sponge. I think that's what this is called. Um, and the Eco Tools Perfecting Blending Duo. Um, on one side of my face, I used these guys. Well, this guy. And then on the other side of my face, I used this guy. And then underneath my eyes, both eyes, spoiler alert, I did use this little guy. So if you guys are excited to hear my thoughts on these products, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload. And let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing that I'm going to do a demo of is going to be this Maybelline Super Safe Foundation. This is a full coverage foundation, up to 24 hour wear. Seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant, oil free and clog and doesn't clog pores, and it is dermatologist tested. I have the shade Golden. This is a little bit darker. I've tried the shade or I've tried this foundation already, so I'm just gonna demo it for you and give you my thoughts on it. Um, the shade is a little dark, so I'm gonna pull it down my neck a little bit, maybe put a scarf on, and probably put it down the concealer. So that's the first thing that I'm going to um review slash demo for you guys. The second thing is going to be, I lost it already, is going to be the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer in the shade Medium. I haven't tried this, so I'm going to try that too. And also I'm going to try the Maybelline Face Studio Sponge on one side of my face. This is what the sponge looks like. It has a little curve right there. A little half moon curve to get like right underneath. So I'm going to try this out for you guys and I'm going to try out the Eco Tools Perfecting Perfecting Blender Duo on this side. Um, I'm going to try the green one on this side. My left? My left. I'm going to try the green sponge on my left side, the Maybelline sponge on my right, and this uh, lighter green one um, as concealer on both sides maybe? Or maybe just on this side and then I'll use this tip of the sponge. Just the tip. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Anyway, so I'm also going to be demoing, and these are all. These are going to be first impressions. Anyway, we're getting ahead of ourselves. So I'm going to go and dampen these sponges. I have to find a bowl or something to bring them back in because there's a lot of them, and I don't want them sitting on my desk. So I'm going to dampen these sponges, and I will be right back. Okay. So as you can see, both sponges got quite bigger. The, oh, it's still dripping water. Um, the Eco Tool sponge feels a little bit harder, stiffer, I guess. It literally feels like there's something in the center of this, which is really odd. I've never felt anything like that before. But this one, this Maybelline one, is super soft. So hopefully this works out in our favor. I've already primed my skin and now I'm going to take the foundation. I'm going to put it on a flat surface. So I'm just using a plastic palette that I have. Um, but you could really just pump it out onto your face and it'll be fine. So it does come with a pump. It's a pull off. Don't twist. I broke something um, or just chipped something away when I first opened this because I just started like twisting it open. No, don't do that. No, no, stop. Um, so just pull the lid off and this is the shade. So I've just been pumping a few pumps out onto three pumps out onto um, any plastic surface. So this is unfortunately a Sephora Pro palette, but good thing I have makeup wipes. Um, so I'm going to take this sponge first. And like I said, I'm going to do this on the right side of my face and I'm going to do the green sponge on the left side um, of my face. So let's give this a go. So I'm just gonna dip it into the product. and go to town. I like to work down from the bottom up. 
This foundation definitely gives you a full coverage. What I have been finding is that it doesn't dry down completely. So this foundation has been drying down really matte and I like matte but it was drying down too matte for me so I was mixing in a little bit of this Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer um, that I got for my birthday from for the Sephora birthday gift or whatever it's called and that made the foundation super thick and gross and very cakey looking so I stopped doing that immediately but it dries down to a super matte finish and I was finding that it wasn't drying down fast enough like it just wasn't so I had to I found that I had to like start setting it which worked out fine I don't know if you guys can tell, I have something in my eye and it's really bothering me. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's one side. And it gives a decent coverage. I didn't feel like returning it, so I figured I'd just use it, lighten it with this color, this shade, and then get one that's the correct shade. So that's one layer. Now I'm going to go in... I like the way that the sponge feels, by the way. I'm sorry, I completely disregarded that. Um, it gave me a very even... My ears itchy. It gave me a very even um, application, foundation application. So now I'm going to take the Real Techniques sponge and do the same thing. Oh, I like that. I like that it's a little bit stiffer. This looks like it's soaked up a ton more than the than the Maybelline one. Looking at both sides, they look like they gave the same amount of coverage and the same amount of finish. This one, for some reason, um, this one looks like it's soaked up more than this one. Or maybe that's just me. But I mean, a sponge is a sponge. It's going to soak up something. It literally looks exactly the same. I'm going to go and apply a second layer with both sponges and I will be right back. A couple things that I noticed about this foundation was whenever I would mix it with that Glam Glow um, Glow Starter illuminating moisturizer it wouldn't settle down where now it's like set it feels like it's set it feels like it's dry um, I don't feel like I have to set it with a powder I am going to though just in case because sometimes when you put powder over fresh foundation like if I were to start to contour over a fresh fresh foundation it will start to pick up and move around the foundation which that drives me insane so I'm gonna still set it I think with just some banana powder. Um, second, this sponge, the Eco Tools sponge, definitely did soak up a lot more product than the Maybelline. I know it doesn't look that way, but it literally did. Like when I looked at my neck in um, natural lighting, it's snowing outside right now, so there's a lot of like bright whiteness outside but whenever I looked at it in natural lighting the side the side of my neck that I used the eco tools on there was barely any foundation and I put a ton down there so I just went over it with the um with the Maybelline one and I like that for sure so next I'm going to go in with the Maybelline fit me concealer in medium like I said I haven't used this so let's see it doesn't smell like anything I like the long doe foot or like the long wand. Oh, I 
have a little friend. Looks like um mascara fell on my cheek. So I'm just gonna apply this under my under my eyes like usual. It feels a lot more oh it feels like it's dripping on this side. It feels a lot it is. It feels a lot more liquidy. Jeez, I need to get a sentence out. It feels a lot more liquidy than the Maybelline um injury wind or the wet and wild one was this the right side <laughs> yeah i think it was so i'm going to use the curved edge for the under eye with the maybelline sponge oh that feels good it's like really soft and massaging and it gets right into that corner oh i love that Yes. It would be hard to pick up powder with this to bake the under eye, but it's still worth it. So next I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques, the mini one, and do the same thing. See this feels too hard for underneath your under eye area. Oh that's did a really good job. They look really similar. This one's not too bad, it's just a little too rough. I think, but I mean, it's not anything that I can't get used to. But that, they look really good. The concealer is creasing, so I better set that super duper fast. I'm going to use the Eco Tools one to set underneath both eyes since it has a really good edge. Perfect, perfect little edge. I'm just going to blend this out. And then use this. And then I never let that bake for very long. Okay, so I'm gonna go finish the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay guys, so this is everything finished. I put everything on, as you can see, literally everything. Even setting spray. Um, I think the foundation and concealer combo looks really good. I'm obsessed with my highlight right now. I combined the Nicole Guerrero palette, um, I wanna say Glow Getter, and I pr combined it with Afterglow, and I'm like obsessed with it. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but I freaking love it to death. Um, anyway, so the foundation looks really good. I'm glad that I didn't put any of that Glam Glow stuff in it because that, I really think, was what was keeping it from drying down fully. Um, I did set it, but still nothing um, got blotchy or muddy and nothing like moved around. So that's good. The under eye concealer um, still looks really good. Actually, it goes really well with the foundation, and both of the blenders blended it out really, really beautifully. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else did I try? Oh, both of the sponges worked out great. I'm trying to think if there was one sponge that I liked more. Um, I think I liked the Maybelline one better just because it feels a lot softer and I like that. I don't like my sponges to have a lot of firmness to them. Um, not that I can't get used to this, but I mean, if we're asking like what I prefer, it's definitely the softer kind of sponge. Um, but they both, they both worked out really, really well. Also, this little mini blender I loved for the under eye and baking under there. It was amazing, so that's that also. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time that I upload. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.